Yang Xinhai was born on July 17, 1968, in Jamadian, into an extremely poor family. He was the youngest of four children and had two brothers and a sister. Described as a quiet, intelligent, and hobby of painting, Yang tended to be introverted as a child. In 1985, he dropped out of school and decided not to return to his family to earn a living doing small occasional jobs. His first occupation was at a coal mine. However, in 1988, he was arrested for burglary and sentenced to forced labor in a concentration camp. After being released, he was again imprisoned in 1991 for the same crime and served his sentence in another camp in Hebei province. In 1996, the first signs of instability began to emerge when he attempted to rape a girl. And for this crime, he was sentenced to five years in prison. However, he was released from prison about three years later, in 1999. During this time, he found a partner who abandoned him the following year after discovering his conviction for rape. Perhaps it was this very event that triggered his desire to kill. The murders began on September 19, 2000, when Yang made two on the same day and ended three years later, on August 8, 2003, when he made five. Most of the murders occurred in Henan, Anhui, Hebei and Shandong provinces, and Yang killed a total of 67 people, including men, women and children. He later justified his actions by saying, Some media claimed that Yang might take pleasure in murder and rape, although the idea that he went crazy only after being left by his partner was not accepted. No one believed that was the motive. The media was convinced that he had been plotting these hateful thoughts for a long time. Yang was cold and calculating so he always followed a precise pattern. He preferred to act at night, sneaking into isolated houses, especially those of simple families, such as farmers, in rural areas of villages, where he proceeded to kill the whole family. In some cases, he slaughtered them with tools such as axes, cleavers, hammers, and shovels. Men and children were eliminated immediately, while women were first subjected to sexual violence and then murdered. He was later accused of necrophilia. During the murders, Yang tried to eliminate evidence of his passing, changing clothing at each blow, and wearing shoes larger than his size to leave no identifiable traces and to confuse the investigation. Although he had been arrested several times in the past for minor offenses such as prostitution induction and petty theft, he was always released on bail. Aside from these rare exceptions, Yang was considered a completely unsuspected person. Yang Xinhai was captured in Hebei province around 10 a.m. on 3rd November 2003. His arrest was purely coincidental. Some police officers, engaged in a normal routine check, noticed suspicious behavior on his part. Xinhai tried to escape, but was quickly overwhelmed and arrested. At the time of the wiretap, he had 500 yuan, a knife, and no ID. He was later transferred to the police station, where the officers, noting the similarity to an identikit, discovered his serious criminal record and linked him to a large series of murders in the surrounding area. Further investigation revealed that Xinhai was wanted for murder in four different provinces. The man was immediately subjected to analysis of body fluids and blood, which confirmed the compatibility of his DNA with that found at several crime scenes and on the hair of the victims. It was later discovered that Xinhai had contracted HIV from one of them. Following pressure, he confessed easily and on the evening of 5 November, admitted to committing 65 murders. He intended to continue killing if he was not arrested, as he was planning to travel to Beijing and another county. He was then imprisoned under close surveillance, beginning a media case that earned him the nickname Killer Monster. The trial was held in the court of Luohe, in the province of Hainan, with a report against Xinhai of over 100 pages. It took place behind closed doors, with limited access. Neither the relatives of the victims nor those of the murderer were present. On 1st 1st February 2004, in less than an hour, he was found guilty of 67 murders, two more than those confessed, 23 rapes, several robberies, and 10 injuries, performed on adults, women, and minors. Only a lucky few survived his attacks, even if in very serious conditions. Sentenced to death for every crime, Yang Xinhai was executed in Henan prison on February 14, 2004. His assets were confiscated, and his defense attorney confirmed that Xinhai waived his right to appeal. And so closed the dark page of the story of Yang Xinhai, the killer monster. But what really drove him to such horrible acts? Perhaps the secret of his motives will remain forever buried with him, leaving behind only unanswered questions.